Happy Saturday, everybody! We got some really good news out of D23 today. We heard that both Disneyland and Disney's Hollywood Studios are getting a fully themed Star Wars land, which should be along the lines of Diagon Alley, like fully immersive. So that's pretty darn exciting. A lot of good change coming to Disney World, to Disney's Hollywood Studios, and to Disneyland. We still have more announcements coming through. This was just at the live action movie panel. So it's not like this was at the parks and resort panel, which is amazing. So we should hear a lot more information coming up here. I'm just kind of like throwing it out there at you guys right after I heard it. So it's kind of exciting. One more thing, we are getting, they've called out two rides. One is a Millennium Falcon ride. And the other one is a battle between two groups of people in Star Wars. So this should be awesome. I can't wait to get two new rides at Disney's Hollywood Studios. They're totally like singing Journey right now. Happy birthday! This is like a, a beer, a bar limo. And they all have to pedal. Yeah. yeah. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Whose birthday is it? Well, we walked outside and um, there's lightning and rain everywhere. Oh yeah, it's not, not covered at all. It is hurricaning. So we came out with Tim and Allison Jones. And um, you're vlogging me vlogging? I'm vlogging you vlogging. I'm getting all soaked. I hope you guys are not getting as wet as I am. We went back into the bar and uh, the power went out. Oh, there was one. Dang. I wonder what it looks like from a plane. Oh, yeah. Because there's a plane right there, and that's where the lightning strike was. <laughs> or is that a plane? Maybe that isn't a plane. I think that's a tower. Listen to all the frogs that are out right now. I hope it comes across as loud. I'm sure it will. Because it's loud. Back home after crazy torrential downpour stormy time, after watching Twitter and all this other stuff that's going on at D23, we did find out that Hollywood Studios is getting Toy Story Land, which is why they've been closing down all of that stuff over there by Toy Story Mania. So uh, One Man's Dream is closing, Little Mermaid's closing, we've already closed Animation Academy, and The Legend of Captain Jack Sparrow. And all of that's getting ripped out and replaced with Toy Story Land. The greatest thing that I've seen come out of that is that we are getting a roller coaster, like a family coaster, that's based off the Slinky Dog character, which sounds awesome. Sounds like a way cool outside roller coaster. It's huge from the concept art. Like, that roller coaster is probably like a good three minutes long because it's so giant. A lot of huge straightaways. A lot of real big turns and dips and dives, no upside downsies. So, it'll be fun. I like it a lot. I am excited to see everything that is new that is going to be coming to the parks. They didn't give us any dates. So, I'm really hoping the majority of this will be done by 2021, which is the anniversary of Disney's Hollywood Studios, which is back when it was MGM. I think it's 2021. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for it to come, and I'm excited for new rides, and I'm excited for some work to happen at Disney. I'm excited for Disney's Hollywood Studios to really like up its game, because it's been quite lackluster lately, but it's getting a lot of new stuff, so it's good stuff, good times. So tonight, we did meet up with the Jones family, and we didn't vlog very much of that because it was like a planning thing. We were getting together, we were planning something really exciting for you guys, that we just couldn't vlog yet. But, I promise, everything will be revealed soon. It's like the Disney D23, like, we're gonna have something amazing soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, I did want to admit to you guys that we're the worst dieters ever. We totally cheated tonight. We went to the German restaurant and we had sausage and potatoes and sauerkraut and it was delicious at a pretzel and butter cheese. Oh, butter cheese. It was so good. Um, he's not telling you about the liter of beer he drank also. I also had a liter of beer. <laughs> like, let's not leave that out. I had like a beer and he's like, I'll have a liter of cola. But make that a beer. <laughs> I'll have a liter of cola. Like, I could not believe it. He's really cheating. 
I did really cheat. Uh, and then Kaylee is coming tomorrow. It's gonna be an exciting Surprise! weekend. Surprise! Oh, um, actually, sorry, sorry to keep dipping in on this ending, but be sure to leave your comments in the video for the giveaway because the giveaway is going to end tomorrow. Yeah. It ends tomorrow. So uh, if you would like to win prizes one, two, three, or four in that video, and I'll leave it below in the description, don't comment on this video. Comment on the giveaway video if you would like to win. We will be picking the winners tomorrow and we will be revealing the winners super soon. So be sure to enter that giveaway if you would like to win those prizes. Yay. So, uh, <laughs> This whole weekend is gonna be crazy. I promise you guys, I promise, 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 we are gonna be on the diet from Tuesday until horror nights. So that's one entire month that we will be eating good. Uh, clean, eating clean, eating good, whatever. The, then a lot of people were saying, oh, you guys are clean eating, what does that mean? We're eating fruits, vegetables, meat. That's it. We won't eat anything that's prepackaged. We go out, we get the raw product, and we cook it, or we eat it raw, and that's it. So like, we don't eat cheese because it's been processed. We don't eat milk or drink milk because it's been processed. We don't eat bread because it's been processed already. Um, flour, that's why. Flour is processed meat, like they take flour and process it. So that's the type of diet that we're on, starting on Tuesday. I, as of right now, I'm like, crazy time. I wanna eat more sausage. So, uh, but yeah. So, we're off to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.